Hello everyone, welcome back here at La Arnie's Kitchen and Food Creations. Tonight I would like to share with you on how to make and bake salmon. So I'm using pink salmon this time and I have here my baking dish. So here in my baking dish I line this with parchment paper so that it's easier for me to clean afterwards because sometimes the salmon will stick into the bottom of your pan and it's very uh, hard to clean but it's easier when you put a lined paper or you can use aluminum foil or tin foil <laughs> okay you have the option to use any of those but if you don't have you don't need to worry i'm using salmon pink salmon and so i drop pat it to dry and this is the skin of the salmon <laughs> Okay, you can use whatever uh, fish fillet you have available, but as of this time, my available is uh, the pink salmon. Prior to that, I preheated my oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit because we're going to bake this uh, fish. What are the very basic ingredients that we have? It's very, very easy and it's very affordable <laughs> in the market and it's very accessible too. I have here my uh, minced garlic, okay? So I'm using an, an approximate basis, so I don't really measure, so I'm just playing it by ear. So I have here, uh, th let's say, three tablespoons of melted butter if you don't have melt melted butter or you can use margarine if you want i have here half of the lemon i squeezed uh, the lemon so half of this so this is approximately uh, three tablespoons of lemon juice fresh lemon juice i'll be adding um this is sage so these are dried spices, and this is uh, oregano, maybe half a teaspoon of oregano, half a teaspoon of sage, and half a teaspoon of thyme. So whatever um, dry, ingredient, uh, dry herbs you have, simply you can go ahead. I'm going to add some drizzle of uh, black pepper. So maybe half a teaspoon of black pepper and let's say uh, one tablespoon of salt. So I'm doing it on um, tancher tancher or approximate basis. So after that lovely friends, I'm going to add honey. So honey will just be maybe four tablespoons of honey. If you don't have honey, you can use brown sugar. Okay, so let's say four tablespoons of honey. And if you don't have dry spices, you can use fresh uh, spices like cilantro or mint. You can just simply chop it. So we have to mix this using my simple whisk. And mix this uh, until all the ingredients are well combined. So a little bit of salt here. And a little bit of black pepper. A little bit more of honey. <laughs> okay, there you go. Okay, now if you run out of melted butter or margarine, simply use olive oil. Or if you don't have olive oil, you can use the regular uh, oil that you normally use to saute your, your dish or your food. Cooking and baking, they're always make fun and easy here at my little kitchen. And just do your own tweak. You know, whatever resources you have and simply combine it. <laughs> okay. So I'll have to pour this. Half of this will be poured into my uh, baking dish. So wonderful friends, I will just add a little bit here. And then I'll have to scatter this. So using my spatula, I'll just do this. Spread it. And then I'll have to 
put first the bottom part of my pink salmon here. The other part here. Beautiful. Then on top of this, I have to pour my sauce. The remaining dressing or the sauce. So there you go, lovely friends. This is how it looks before it is uh, not cooked yet. So I'll have to put this in the oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 minutes. Now, depending upon the slice or the thickness of your fish. So it takes uh, 30 minutes because the, um, the thickness is a little bit big. So I'll put this. It's now ready into our oven there you go friends so for 30 minutes i'll have to close my oven and then set this for okay bake uh, timer for 30 minutes wonderful friends after 30 minutes at 400 degrees fahrenheit i'll have to um change it into broil at 400 degrees fahrenheit to make it a little bit uh, brown on top so i'll have to put the timer for five minutes so that's how it looks like but i'll have to make it brown on top so we'll wait for another five more minutes okay wonderful friends this is now ready so i'll have to cancel that remember we bake that at 400 degrees fahrenheit for 30 minutes and then i switch into broil for five minutes come join with me as we check the output of our fish fillet there you go i have to take it out and so you can see it up close and personal Dear wonderful friends, this is how it looks like after we bake it and broil it. So just add some sauce here. And I'd like to thank you. Thank you very much for watching La Arnie's Kitchen and Food Creations. So this is very, very easy to make. And I want you to try this. I hope you have fun always as you watch La Arnie's simple ways of cooking and baking here at my little kitchen. So this is now our butter, garlic, salmon filet. <laughs> okay, there you go. So we are now ready to devour this with our fluffy rice. So let's check. My rice is now ready. So thank you and have fun and daghang kaing salamat. Maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. From La Arnie's Kitchen with Love saying you so long and till the next time that we will cook and bake here at my little kitchen. Bye for now.